Hello, my name is Martin Collins and I'm the Assistant Director in Pavi Point Traveller Centre and of course Pavi Point is very happy to be associated with the ERA campaign to uh, stop the further decline of our uh, human rights infrastructure. As far as my own community is concerned, the, the erosion and the undermining of the human rights uh, equality infrastructure is nothing new. Uh, back in 2003, uh, as a result of the Intoxicating Liquor Act, uh, the jurisdiction of both the Equality Authority and the Equality Tribunal concerning discrim discrimination by licensed premises was removed uh, to the district courts and this had serious implications for travellers who experienced uh, discriminations at the hands of publicans and this was as a direct result of a frenzied uh, media uh, attack by both politicians and indeed the Vintners uh, lobby uh, organisations on travellers making wild unsubstantiated claims that travellers were involved in orchestrating campaigns to seek discrimination in order to uh, get compensation. This was absolutely outrageous. More recently we have seen the further erosion and undermining of our uh, equality slash human rights infrastructure with uh, savage cuts uh, to these bodies. And as a, direct, uh, as a direct result of this, obviously their capacity has been severely reduced despite the, com um, the, the comments by some who would have us believe that these bodies can operate at the same capacity. This is just illogical, it's not proper thinking. Uh, budgets have been reduced to the extent that the capacity to uh, hold inquiries and offer legal advice has been uh, severely uh, restricted. In relation to my own community, uh, we are reminded once again, as if one needed reminding, of the embedded and institutionalised uh, discrimination experienced by travellers. This was particularly highlighted recently in relation to the enrolment, the enrolment policy of a school in Clamell County Tipperary, whereby the, the Equality uh, Tribunal found that its, uh, its admission policy and its criteria indirectly discriminated against travellers. And it's great to get vic victories like this, and we need a lot more of them. There must be a recognition by all that equality and human rights is not a luxury or a privilege, but rather it should be recognised as a central tenet in creating a stable and cohesive society. It's important that the human, uh, the human dignity inher inherent in all of us is both protected and valued. It's also important that NGOs and civil society who are in a very unique position and play a very important role in advocating for the rights of particular communities is protected and valued. This is probably best done through legislative means. Unfortunately, at the moment, we have this insidious uh, effort uh, being made to silence and gag NGOs who play such a, a pivotal role. Finally, I hope that the review commissioned by Minister Mary White on the human rights infrastructure and the launch of this election campaign here this morning by ERA and by all of our individual and collective efforts that we can achieve, that we can achieve what we have done in the past, a robust human rights infrastructure that would vindicate uh, people's rights and one that we can all have confidence in. Thank you very much. Thank you.